get a better understanding of what the distributed property is, let's start off by looking at an example. Alex is planning to have five people over next week. He wants to provide three slices of pizza for each of them. Three of his friends, though, wanted to bring another friend. So how many slices of pizza will he need? The problem isn't that complicated. We can set it up pretty straightforward. We have Alex plus the five people he invited plus the three people that they wanted to bring. That gives us a total of nine people. I'm going to multiply that by three, and I will find out that I need 27 slices of pizza. I also, though, could have done this individually. I could have distribute the three by multiplying each of those situations separately. Because the distributive property says multiplying a group of numbers individually is the same thing as adding it first and then multiplying. So I could have said, well, I need three slices of pizza for Alex. That's one times three, which is three, plus another three slices for each of the five people. So it's three times five, which is 15, plus another three slices for the three additional guests, which is nine. Three plus 15 plus nine is 27. So it doesn't matter whether I first add them and multiply by three or I multiply each of them by three first and add the result. So how's this gonna help me? Well, let's say you forgot the answer to eight times six. Well, I could take six and break that down into five plus one. If I multiply that times eight, I should get my answer to eight times six. Eight times five is 40, plus eight times one is eight, giving us an answer of 48. Even though I wrote this on paper, I could actually do that in my head and quickly come up with the answer. Another situation where you often find using distributive property helpful is when you have to multiply a lot of the same number. Let's say, for example, you bought 13 items and each item cost $2.98. That's gonna be kind of a nuisance of a problem to solve. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna rewrite that problem as 13 times the quantity of $3 minus two cents. Well, 13 times three is fairly easy. That's $39. 13 times two cents is 26 cents. So my answer is $39 minus 26 cents, or $38 and 74 cents. While the distributed property can be very useful when we're doing these operations, it's even more useful when we start working in algebra.